Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with an exhausted Parsley, who is watching with pride over her little puppies as they frolic around. Oh my gosh, who has a bone? Hawk! <laughs> As they frolic around, and little Hawk apparently is the one to currently be playing with a bone, while Owlet has built himself a little stack of sticks to be able to play with. Azur is nearby, we have two hair carcasses ready to go ahead and eat, and Parsley cannot keep her eyes open another moment. So let's go ahead and howl. Maybe even go ahead and try to convince our pups to come a little closer. Marigold the second is getting awful close. We'll give a small bark to try to start pulling them in towards the den. They don't have to go into the den for long. I just don't want them all out and about. All right, there we go. I just don't want them all out and about while we get a go ahead and get ready to sleep. And Hawk, why is our runt puppy always the last one to go in? Hawk, you really need to have a little bit more of a sense of your own survival, please. But all right. We'll let the pups come back out so that they don't go ahead. You know what, actually, we don't have that many. It's raining. And now that I think about it, we actually don't have that many fleas. So before the flea infestation gets too big and with Parsley being as tired as she is and the pups being as small as they are, I wanna go ahead and we're gonna climb on in. Oh, into the den. I just wanted at least one day where we could go ahead and we could rest with our puppies in here. This is so freaking precious. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get some sleep. Close our eyes and let the day slide by. Let Parsley get all the rest she needs curled up in the den out of the rain with all of her little ones plenty of dreams to keep her occupied and taking her place proudly oh look the pups have moved around and now they're cuddling her in a whole new spot oh my gosh i love them ah she's sniffing marigold all right so now we'll go ahead and come on out i don't want the fleas to get too bad and it is important to go ahead and let the pups come on out if they need to have we lost any territory we haven't lost any territory so you know what i think we're gonna go ahead we'll let the pups come on out we'll get her at basil's first one out okay so she was sniffing basil not marigold i just was remembering how our old marigold was a a white wolf but we'll go ahead and let the pups come out now that the rain is over. We'll get some sleep so that we have a fully rested mama wolf. The pups playing around her. We'll get the sun rising so we can see the new day. And then we will continue on with her quest to work at fattening these little ones up so that they will be ready for the hunting. She's very eager to go ahead and have them on some longer legs here. All right, we'll eat these hair carcasses really quickly because that will give us what we need to feed them. Oh, Hawk, you're hungry? Here, do we have anything we can regurgitate for him? Yes. If Hawk, and of course, Owlet. I love our little chonker Owlet. He is just so determined to be like one of the first ones. No, 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 go eat them. Eat, eat the carcass. There we go. Owlet is always like the first one determined to eat. Last one to leave. Let's see if I can feed the pups off of... There we go. What we can get from these two. Marigold's pretty hungry, so we'll feed her too. And then while everyone's eating, we'll put our nose up in the air. The elk are apparently nearby, so we'll want to go ahead and work with them. And we'll see. All right. It does look like the Crevice Lake pack is pushing in just a little bit into the territory that we really want to claim, especially up to the north. So we might need to go north and try to re-solidify our claim up there, but I don't think it's worth the fight for now. And I would rather just go a little bit to the west and keep pushing west because we want to carve out basically everything from Wanderer's Point to Crystal Pond in order to give us all of this territory to raise our pups in during the summer hunting grounds. And now that we finally have enough energy because our poor mama wolf here has been very busy. Here you go, Thorn. Now you guys are hungry. Excellent. Alet, once again. <laughs> Alet once again at the pile, ready to eat. 
the pups have great affinity, maybe because we already went ahead and slept with all of the, the little ones in the den tonight. Oh, I love them. Look at them. I just, I need, sorry, I need more pictures of them because I, I just, I cherish them. They are so precious. All right. And we'll let them eat. And let's actually go ahead and see. We're almost getting there to eight pounds with Basil already halfway there to being ready to go ahead and leave for the summer hunting grounds. But meanwhile, we have Hawk who is five pounds now. He's 10 pounds away. We had some of these puppies be five pound like when they were freaking two weeks old. <laughs> Hawk is really going to trail behind everybody else, so hopefully we'll be able to convince him to eat. He just doesn't seem interested. Like, he's the last one to come over to the food piles. Last one to be curious whatsoever about what this food thing is all about. It's not like the others seem to be pushing him out of the way. Look at that, he just runs away from it. He's just not curious about it. Okay, okay. Not good. Basil, Thorn, get in there. Get in there. Who thinks that they can just approach us and try to try to take care of our, like try to attack? What are you doing here? It's a crevice lake male. Look at him. It's a different one than who we had before. Who are you and why are you right at our den? This is not acceptable. A no world is this acceptable at all. Oh, you just won yourself. A oh, get off my leg. You just won yourself a lifelong enemy. You should have seen what I did to the coyote. Uh, yeah, no. I don't care if he gave up the attack. Azur, you really don't have the bloodthirstiness that your mate does. This guy might get away just because we don't have as much stamina. Oh yeah, you made a huge mistake. You made a huge mistake. All right, Azura's in the background. Can I follow this guy? Let's get our energy back. We'll track him. This is not just something we're going to ignore and forgive. He has made possibly the last mistake he's ever going to make. Look at him with his little, his little like rat tail. All right, this is rat tail. Two-year-old crevice lake male. We'll have to track him for just a minute, but Parsley is not going to forgive this. He thought he could just literally come straight to our den. Come on, Parsley. Come on, get him. Get him. Can we jump after him? No, we have to like wait until we can get him too tired. Is he going to run out of stamina any second now? Oh, she wants to get him so bad. She wants to tear him apart so bad. All right, who's going to who's going to run out of stamina first? Us or him? We are going. I don't even know where we're going. We ran out of stamina first. All right. That's not going to do. That's not going to do whatsoever. And we ended up all the way in second meadow chasing him. Maybe we can chase him all the way into Prospect Peak territory. Ah, oh, come on. All right, let's wait. Maybe we'll be able to sneak up on him. If we crouch a little bit, maybe he won't see us coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, he saw us. Okay, so I don't think we can get him. Oh, but do we ever want to? All right, let's go ahead and strengthen our territory over here for now. And then we might need to do a little bit of hunting. We came all the way into Second Meadow, which is not where we planned on being whatsoever. That's the opposite of where we were going to spend our day. But that's interesting. So the curious little brother, it seems, of the male that we fought off last time thought that he could just show up and try try to attack this area and try to go ahead and hunt our pups. We'll let Azur stay over at the den for just a minute. We'll strengthen up this spot and some of our territory in Second Meadow because we're not going to have any of that nonsense. Let's see. And then I think if I cross just a little bit over here, 
to the west, we should enter a new territory. And our scent mark should be close by. Alright, there's a bunch of bison. We don't need to run into them. There's a bunch of elk nearby somewhere. Where is our scent post in this zone? Over here? Yeah, the pussy toes herd of elk is somewhere close by. There's a bear! It's been only oh, two cubs! All right, we'll leave her alone. <laughs> we we very, very much know the fury of a mother defending her own as we just were experiencing that fury ourselves. All right, where is our scent post over here? I just want to be able, there it is. All right, so let's grab our scent post and then I think we might actually hunt down some of these elk today. We're now very hungry and getting a little tired because trying to chase down and kill a stranger wolf used up a ton of our energy. But the good news is we don't have to worry about things coming from a second meadow for a little while. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and call Azur over. And then we're going to follow our nose. So where, oh, where did that herd go? Because I think the pussy toes herd is actually down here and it would be excellent to be able to just snag some elk to eat. Oh, what's this? Why, hello, a whole carcass. We didn't even have to do the hunt. That is luck. That is the kind of luck that can be turned around and we can turn into being able to just claim more territory instead. All right, let's fill up. I can't believe the nerve of them. That's definitely something that's going to set Parsley on edge and make her really furious, like absolutely infuriated. How could anyone try to break into her territory and go ahead and try to eat her pups? That's not how it's going to happen. All right, and since we just found a carcass, so we actually didn't even need to worry about taking care of that spot, we might go north for just a second to take care of our territory. And then we're removing the Dark Lake pack. Once again, the rivalry runs thick through a second generation as they once again had the nerve to try to come and take a moon pack pup's life. And that absolutely is not how it's gonna go. All right, let's find where our scent post is here. There's way too many Prospect Peak scent posts around here and we just don't need that trouble. There we are. That was really lucky stumbling on that big pile of food. Ah, there's our scent post. We're coming up on it. Ah, beautiful. I mean, I feel like Parsley just moves through the entire forest feeling extremely confident about where she's at. And I bet if Azur had been with us and we had summoned him to us while we were in that fight, then we would have been able to go ahead and we would have been able to defeat that, that pup. I mean, he's nothing but a young pup thinking that he could just come and fight us. That's not how it's going to work out. All right, let's strengthen this territory a little. And good. Nice, man. When Parsley decides she owns a spot, she owns that spot. So it looks like now that we're actually going to be able to feed our puppies and move on, we will be trying to take over more of the Dark Lake Pack territory. But how are our pups doing? Everybody's in the den. We've got several seven pounders and an eight pounder already. So that's halfway there to being able to go to the summer hunting grounds for the arduous journey of those pups legs getting longer and them needing to start learning a little bit about the secrets of how to survive in the wild. Except for Hawk. I'm concerned guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think Hawk might actually, he just, he's so flighty, pun fully intended. He just doesn't seem to have any interest whatsoever in actually in actually eating <laughs> and putting on some weight so that he could start getting longer legs and maybe being able to grow a little faster. 
And I think Parsley is most interested in being able to have her pups to that juvenile stage where she'll be able to start training them and really working with them to go ahead. Hey, Basil, what are you doing outside? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky puppy. But I do think Parsley it wants her pups. Hawk, get in, get in, get in. Inside now. Hawk. There's an actual hawk. All right, Thorn's inside. Where is it? There it is. Do you guys see it? And now an eagle attack? Yeah, I don't think so. There it is. Watching. This is why you need to be bigger, hawk. Because there's actual hawks out and about. You think I don't see you? I see you. Normally they leave by now. There we go. An eagle was hunting our pups, but it gave up and flew away. Ha ha! Ah, we rescued him again. Hawk, eat. Nope, come here. Stuff this down your little mouth and grow, please. You've got to become stronger so that you'll be able to face the challenges that lie ahead for a wild wolf, little one. And Basil, our little tan Basil, Thorn's doing good. Good job, Hawk. All right, now that you ate, we'll play it with you a little bit. The pups have been good. They stayed inside. Hawk is eating more, thank goodness. Basil's having a good time. Alet's having a good time. These guys are just so loyal to their family. I just really want them all to be nice and safe. Thorn is stalking in the grasses. That is so cute. Ew, and Owlet is digging. He is such a cutie. He just loves eating and he loves digging and it's pretty darn precious. But all right, guys, holy cow. We had stranger wolves come in. We found a carcass. We managed to go ahead. And while we were probably having like parsley complain to Hawk about how Hawk won't eat enough, had an eagle come and try to eat them. Hawk, yes, you, you need to eat more. But we managed to save the puppies twice over. We have brought back some food and we have a conviction to go ahead and push our way in to the Dark Lake Pack territory. And if we have the opportunity, I know that Parsley will probably want to teach them a deadly lesson. All right, how are we doing on weight? Why will you not put any weight on Hawk? Why, little puppy, why? <laughs> Ah, all right, my friends, if you guys could do please leave a like for Parsley and Azur and all of their little pups growing under our watch. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.